Okay, so for my reading, I am going to be reciting Dover Beach by Matthew Arnold, and I just want to show my Hawaiian shirt because since they're by the bay, I thought I thought it would be kind of appropriate. So yeah, the sea is calm tonight. The tide is full. The moon lies fair upon the straits. On the French coast, the light gleams and is gone. The cliffs of England stand glimmering and vast out in the tranquil bay. Come to the window, sweet is the night air. Only from the long line of spray where the sea meets the moon blanched land. Listen, you hear the grating roar of pebbles which the waves draw black back in fling at their return up the high strand, begin and cease, and then begin again with tremulous cadence slow and bring the eternal note of sadness in. Soft calls long ago, heard it on the Gian, and it brought into his mind the turbid ebb and flow of human misery. We find also in the sound a thought, hearing it by this distant northern sea. The sea of faith was once too at the full, and round earth's shore lay like the folds of a bright girdled, fertiled. Now, but now I only hear its melancholy, long withdrawing roar, retreating to the breath of the night wind, down the vast edges drear and naked shingles of the world. Ah, love, let us be true to one another, for the world which seems to lie before us like a land of dreams, so various, so beautiful, so new, hath really neither joy, joy nor love, nor light, nor certitude, nor peace, nor help for pain. And we are here as on a darkling plain, swept with confused alarms of struggle and flight, where ignorant armies clash by night. So for my analysis, um, I'm going to start with like who is speaking. So um, in this poem, the actual poet is speaking like first person. Um, so it's going to be Matthew Arnold. And in the poem, he starts talking to another character by um, addressing them directly. And later he refers to them as love. So they could be a couple or um, just friends, anything like that. Um, so the setting is there, it seems like they're on a balcony just because he says come to the window, but they're also looking over the bay, um, off of England, the French coast, everything like that. So I'm thinking that they are on a balcony or inside at first, but they can peek their head out and listen and look at the tide. So, um, Arnold does relate the sound of the pebbles getting washed back and forth from the tide um, to eternal sadness, um, says right here, the eternal note of sadness in. So this is where I picked that up from. So um, the mental picture that I found in here is really from the first stanza. Uh, it really paints a picture that the sea is very calm, like everything is very peaceful there. There's only noises of nature, everything like that. So, um, yeah, I first saw that and it was very like peaceful, but then once it switches to the second stanza, it talks about human misery and, um, everything like that. So it definitely became more eerie to me. So what once was like very lighthearted and peaceful definitely, um, came down with some sadness. So this shows, um that something is not right with the faith in the world right now. And I really started picking up on that once he switched the tone to more of a sad, like serious topic. So it says that the sea of faith was once too at the full and round earth's shore lay like the folds of a bright girdled fertiled. So I just definitely see that like he, everyone else sees that like, the sea is calm, like everything is peaceful, melancholy, but um, beyond that, like within the world, there's definitely a loss of faith and there's a loss of humanity. So then it shifts to Arnold talking about their situation compared to fighting in dark. Um, this is going to be 
towards the last stanza. So it says like, to lie before us like a land of dreams. So that is the visual expectation of the world that they are living in. Um, but towards the end of the last stanza, he's talking about there's no peace, no help for pain. Um, and they're here on a dark plane swept with confused arms, alarms of struggle and flight. So basically he's saying that there's a lot more rather than just what the looks of the world is. So he personally does not seem too hopeful of the world. Um, he definitely wants him and his partner or who he addresses as love. He wants them to be different from the rest of the world, which I think shows that he is completely aware of what is going on around him and not just the visual aspects to everything. So the general mood, as I said before, definitely shifts from more of a peaceful, lighthearted piece to a more eerie and hopeless feel. Um, but again, even towards the end, like, he has hope for them too, but not the rest of the world, it seems. So the poem symbolizes humanity's faith. Um, he definitely compares this to the sea of faith. And he also compares it to Sophocles long ago, heard it on the Gian. So he's definitely bringing it back to that past event or past picture. So he organizes the stanzas, in my opinion. This first stanza right here seems like he's just giving the general background in the setting. Um, so it's kind of the opposite of foreshadowing. Like he brought up like this beautiful picture, like he painted the scene, um, beautiful scenery, everything like that. But then he definitely turns it into a deeper meaning. So I thought that was really interesting to me. Um, so this poem actually does remind me of the current situation that the world is going through right now. Um, so by the looks of it, I mean, it, everything. everyone looks like they are um, working together more just in a political sense, not even political sense, but equal rights and everything like that, as we should. Um, however, kind of like the Sea of Faith, it was once very full. I feel like in the past years, everyone's political opinion did not separate us as much as it does now. I feel like now, deeper than the looks of it, um, in everyone's heart and the internal struggles that we're all going through um, during this really tough time, it definitely is not as full as it had been or as it should be. Um, I definitely think that like everyone's pinning each other against each other. So that kind of like in, in a way that like the, the edges of the earth are naked, naked, naked shingles of the world. I definitely think that relates to current times. So um, all in all, this poem really did explain a loss of faith of humanity and just a loss of faith in general. Um, and it was much deeper than I expected. Just by reading the first paragraph or the first stanza, I did not think that um, Matthew Arnold would go into such a deep meaning of um, a loss of faith and how it is not as full as it once was.